<laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I've got bubbles, guys. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're testing to see if the Lucas Stop Slip will stop transmission shutter on my 2007 Ford Edge. The deal for me is that as I'm accelerating, I will get major shutter on a couple of the gear shifts. And a couple places have told me it might be the torque converter going bad and uh, others have said it might be something inside the uh, transmission and nobody's really been able to diagnose it. So I found a couple other folks here on YouTube that have used this and said it really works great to get rid of that transmission shutter. So I'm gonna put it to the test and give you my review. But first, here's what that transmission shutter looks and sounds like. So you can see that I definitely have an issue going on. Now I have used, the, there's like a two ounce bottle you can get of something called Shutter Fix, and it did not work. So I'm gonna try this next and see what happens. So I'm about to get underneath and drain the fluid, and then we'll go from there. Don't forget your eye protection when you're working with fluids. You don't want stuff in your eyes. All right, you wanna be sure to get the right drain plug, okay? So there's one up here on your transmission. It's not it, you want this one down here. And you wanna be sure, just to double check, you're not getting the oil, you're getting your transmission. So this is the, the driver's side of the vehicle, and the oil drain is over here. So that's not what you want to drain. I mean, you can drain your oil if you're doing an oil change, but not if you're doing a transmission fluid, right? So make sure you get the transmission drain plug here. It's an 11 millimeter and I'm using the ratchet. You could use a wrench as well, that'd be just fine. Make sure you got your drain bucket in the right place. There we go. Well, that fluid doesn't actually look too bad, does it? But we're gonna go ahead and do this anyway. I'm guessing I'm gonna take out about four or five quarts. I have, including the stop slip, I have five quarts of fluid to put back in. So I'm hoping it doesn't take out more than that or I'm gonna be running to the store again. While that's draining out, I wanna show you where to find what type of fluid you need. And to give you a heads up that different edge years use different types of Mercon. Here's where to look. All right, so here's the top of the engine. Uh, here's where the oil goes in, so make sure you're not dealing with that one. You wanna make sure you're dealing with this one. Now on this model year, this is the 2007, this you'll notice has a fill neck that goes down to the top of the transmission. Other models, Ha, do not have this fill neck. And so it's the top of the transmission is down there. You can access it with a funnel. You might have to unclip your mass airflow sensor just to get a funnel through there. But just a heads up, that's if you don't see it on top, that's because it could be a different model year. So, and right here on the cap, it tells you what kind of Mercon you need. So for this vehicle, it's Mercon V. Other videos I've seen but on the Ford Edge, it takes Mercon LV. So you wanna be sure that you check this and match the fluid type so you don't put the wrong thing in. Now, this is great on mine because it does have that fill neck. So we'll just take that out and, and I can get a funnel set up. All right, back under the vehicle, checking it out and we're down to drips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my wonderful 11 millimeter drain plug back in. And we'll just tighten this. This was not in there real super tight, so I'm not gonna make it that way either because in reality, it's just holding in fluid. So it doesn't need to be extremely tight. So I got that in and snug, good to go. I do also wanna remind you that you need to have the car level when you're doing this. So I've got my car on ramps at the front here. And then in the back, I've got uh, a couple of jacks holding it up, which is great. I'm not too worried about jack stands because I'm not under the back end and I have the ramps in the front, so it's not going anywhere. Okay, now to get it level, I just have a level and I'm using the door jam here and working to get it level. That's pretty dang close. That will um, give me a more accurate reading may not be quite as important on this vehicle with that dipstick available but those vehicles that don't have dipsticks especially gotta have this vehicle super level and i'm not gonna take any chances i just want to have it 
ready to roll and not have any questions. So I've got it level for that purpose. With that fluid drained out, I'm ready to start adding. So I'm gonna start with the Lucas stop slip. And again, this is the Lucas transmission fix stop slip, cleans and lubricates sticking valves and proper shifting according to the front. So we'll give this a try and see what happens. This is one of those fun deals. You're gonna have to take the lid off to peel the cat or the cover back. Here we go. Ooh, that's thick stuff. This is gonna take a little while. <laughs> if you have a way to warm it up, that might be a good idea. I do not. So I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way and just be patient. You can see this just building up in the funnel and it's taken quite a while to go through. My funnel is uh, smaller at the end, so it's not huge. So that's partly why it's taken a while back off and let that drain in a little bit. I mean, see this, this is interesting to note, but this fluid is actually backing up in my fill tube. So you wanna be careful and go real slow with this. So I'm uh, still letting it drain down here and the funnel and it's, yeah, tempting. It wants to fill up that drain tube. So uh, yeah, just be real careful. You don't end up overflowing everything and making a big, huge mess like I'm about to do. Okay, I went ahead and started the vehicle because uh, I realized the transmission probably needs to be warm, which will also help the fluid get in at a better pace. And uh, so I ended up burping the funnel, the fill neck. Uh, I filled, you know, you saw how full I had this funnel and fill neck and it actually burped and dumped a bunch of fluid out. So now I've got some paper towels down there, but I'm gonna go at a much slower pace here. Um, and you can kind of see what I'm doing here. This is actually working pretty well. It's slow, but steady is the key here. All right, we are getting down to the last drips here. So I'm gonna wrap this up and go ahead and get the Mercon V in. Here goes Mercon V Port 1. Whoa, did you see that? Oh, I've got bubbles, guys. I just totally did that badly. Okay, so go a heck of a lot slower than I just did. I just spewed work on me everywhere. Hashtag rookie mistake. Have you ever made a rookie mistake? I'd love to hear about it below. Comment, or heck, if you even made a video about your rookie mistake, leave it below. That'd be awesome. We can watch each other's oops. Look, it's bleeding. <laughs> I done did it. Now I'm gonna have to do some major cleanup now. Well, while I'm letting that drain in, I'm using the O'Reilly's Mercon V. And it says for use in Ford vehicles where Mercon V specification is called for. That's this for sure. So, there you go. Okay, now, I've got my dipstick in. And so to check, I'm, I haven't shifted the gears or anything yet. I'm just gonna check the level and see where it's at. So put it in, twisting it all the way it out on that side it is showing a half like low so I'm gonna give uh, a shift through the gears now and then I'm gonna check it again all right so I'm inside the car I got my foot on the brake and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shift through the gears go through each gear multiple times and I'm also going to I wanna give each gear a good 10 seconds, 15 seconds, something like that. Just wanna make sure we get that fluid really good and in there, especially with that the thickness of that stop slip. Uh, really wanna give that a chance to get in everywhere it needs to go. Let's go take it for a test drive and see if that shutter has gone away. I just got back from a test drive and I thought it was going really, really great, but then the shutter actually happened again. I'm so disappointed. So I'm actually wondering though, if my fluid is a little low, like I shorted it maybe a quart and so, or half a quart. And so I'm gonna add some fluid and then drive it for a little while, uh, uh, get some good miles on it and then see if that stop slip just kind of works in and helps the transmission out. Test drive number two, let's roll. shutter again. Right at that 
2,000 mark. Gosh darn it. So, I'll keep driving uh, for a week or two and we'll see what happens. Go, can't say good morning because you might be watching this in the evening.